So much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout Mika! Oh, Mika! Cool! Yeah, this room is filled with different art pieces. Yeah, check it out. Here, do you want one? Oh, yeah, thank you. Wow, unicorn mugs. These are so cool. Oh, cheers. <laughs> Yum. Oh, there we Ooh. go. Oh. Nice and gentle. Yeah, there we go. Whoa, check it out. Cool. Whoa. Cars. Mine is blue. Yeah, and mine is red. Oh. It's so cool that you can even make cars out of clay. Yeah, awesome. Oh. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Vroom, baby. Well, this pottery is so cool. New pottery is an art piece that's made out of baked clay. Yeah, or other types of stoneware. Yeah, it's really cool because it starts soft and squishy and then it ends up like this. It's nice and hard. Yeah. Oh, cool. Hey, look at this. Whoa. Oh, I'm being very careful when I hold these. Good job. Yeah, a yellow flower. Yeah, it's so pretty. Yeah. <sighs> it smells <laughs> just like clay. <laughs> You're so silly. Oh, cool. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> do you see what I see? Yeah, I do. Whoa. Ready? Do you know what animal that is? <laughs> A lion, yeah. yeah. Will you act like lions with us? <laughs> 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 cool that an artist made this lion out of clay. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Yeah, and it's so colorful too. They must have painted it. Yeah, look at the blue eyes. Whoa. <laughs> okay, I'll very gently when I set that down. Nicely done. Oh, thanks. Hey, Blippi, there's more animals down here. Oh yeah, you're right. Look, a bunny rabbit. <laughs> nice little carrot right there. It's so cute. Oh. oh, what about this little elephant? Aww. Little elephant, but big ears. You got that right. <laughs> oh, and look at this one. Oh, oh, what is that, do you think? Huh, maybe a leopard? Oh, yeah, and it's really big, almost like a blowfish, but it's not a fish. Yeah, mm. so artistic. Yeah, really cool. You can make anything you want. Yeah, and it's so cool that these animals, yeah, are nice friends together. Aw, so cute. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Look, there's another one up here. Oh, interesting. Looks like a pig, right? Yeah, and purple, one of my favorite colors. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, but wait a second. It's all alone. Yeah, and it looks like there's some space for other animals. <gasps> Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah? Lunch time. time. No. Oh. <laughs> we can make this pig some animal friends. Oh, that's a great <laughs> idea, Mika. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, hey, who are you? Hi, guys. Welcome to Cobalt and Clay. My name's Nicole. Oh, oh nice to meet you. I'm Blippi. Hi, and I'm Mika. Oh. So what do you do here? Um, I'm the owner and instructor. Wow. Oh. Cool. Well, you might be the perfect person to ask. Do you think we could make some pottery today? Of course. Oh. Yeah, oh. we want to make some animal creatures. Awesome. Well, would you like to hand build or throw? Hmm. What's the difference? Well, hand building is where you can use your hands to sculpt, and throwing is where we use the pottery wheel that spins. Oh. oh. Could we do both? Of course. Oh, yeah. yeah. How do we get started? So you guys want to grab some clay, and I'll meet you at the wheels. All okay. right. <laughs> Thanks. See you later. See you. Oh, cool. Oh, look at all this clay, Blippi. Wow. Big <gasps> blocks of clay, it looks like. Yeah. Oh, look at this one. Kind of looks oh. red. Yeah, you're right. Almost like a brick. Oh, yeah. Look down here. Whoa, this was like a dark brown. Oh, yeah. Oh, and look at these. Oh, Ooh, a nice tan color. Yeah, and the shape of balls, it looks like. Yeah, interesting. Hmm, Let's look we? inside. I wonder if they're the perfect size. Oh, check it out. Whoa, cool. Yeah. There you go. One for you. Oh, and thank one you. one for me. Oh, cool. Oh, and I have a great idea. Whoa. And since they're pieces of clay, and they won't get ruined if they fall on the ground. I know what you're going to do. Yeah, here go. we go. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Well, nice job. Thank you very much. I should probably put this third one away, right? Yeah. <laughs> Let's seal up the bag so then they don't dry out, right? Good idea. <laughs> All right. Nice twist. <laughs> All there right. Here we go. All right. Oh, check it out. Oh, scales. Yeah. 
Yeah! Whoa! We could weigh our clay! Yeah, do you want to go first or me? Oh, you go ahead! <laughs> oh, thanks, Mika! All right. Hey, there we go! Oh, oh yeah! yeah. <laughs> Looks like one pound! Oh, nice! Wonder if mine's gonna be the same or different! Yeah! Oh, also about one pound! Or <laughs> half a kilogram! <laughs> <laughs> so silly! Well, I think they're good, shall we? Yeah, let's get started! <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I'm so excited. Me too. Okay, we'll set that there. Ooh, aprons. Oh, smart. So then we don't get dirty. Yeah, this will protect our clothes. <laughs> yeah, and it even says cobalt and clay. Oh, cool. Matching aprons. Yeah. Oh, Hi, hey. Guys. Hey, Nicole. Hey. Are you ready to throw? Yeah. yeah. Right. Throw clay. <laughs> So I'm going to go over a few things that we're going to be using. So we have a bucket of water here that's going to help the clay glide through our hands. Uh -huh. And then the way the wheel works, there's a foot pedal on your table. You're oh. going to set it on the floor and that's going to control the wheel speed. Okay, and do we sit down? Yeah, you're going to sit I'll on your sit. stool. <laughs> cool. Nice and relaxing. Whoa. Okay. The pedal's on the floor. And that's what you use to control the spin. And then what about the clay? So you're going to take it, you're going to smack it in that center circle. Uh -huh. You'll tap the sides really well, seal the base, and then you'll just start to mold your piece. Sounds okay. like fun. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, I'm going to set up our next station. All right. Thank See you. Ya. See ya. Okay. Ready to throw it? Ready to throw. Whoa. I missed the center. <laughs> Me too. We Let's should do probably do that again. Oh. Whoa. Three, two, one. Yeah. Whoa. Nice. <laughs> Okay, and then I think she said to use some water oh, yeah. on our hands, Let's right? Water our hands. Okay, water our hands. Water, water our hands. Water, 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 water our hands. <laughs> okay. okay, there we go. All right. Smack Ooh. it. Oh, and then she said seal it, right? Oh, so maybe push yeah. it down. I, and... I think we go around the edges like this, so then it seals from this plate. That sounds right to me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> That's fun. Really? Yeah. Can't wait to try. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Whoa, it actually goes pretty fast, well, huh? Does it? Whoa. <laughs> yeah. <Whoa. laughs> My clay is going for a ride. <laughs> yeah. Mine's a little off center, so I'm going to push it in the center. Yeah, like that. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, maybe it'll work. I don't know. <laughs> Whoa, look at my hands. Oh, mine too. Whoa. Sticky and slimy. How about a clay high five? Oh, it's <laughs> on my face. <laughs> That's silly. But doing clay can be pretty dirty. I know, but it's really fun. fun. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, All here right. we go. Whoa. 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 Okay. Don't let go of your clay. <laughs> Kid, you're so silly, Mika. Oh. How are you doing? I don't know. Whoa. I don't know, I can't stop! It's pretty wobbly! <laughs> okay, here we go! Whoa, look at that blue! Yeah, making a cereal bowl! Oh, cool! Whoa! All right, here we go. Whoa, 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 whoa! I think mine's gonna be a little wobbly. Whoa! Oh, should we take a look? Yeah, let's check it out. Oh! Okay, I'm going to keep going with that shape. Let's see. Whoa. Whoa. Look at what I made. Oh, that looks amazing. Yeah, it's like a bowl. You can put all sorts of knickknacks in here. Yeah, or you can put little snacks in there. Oh, yeah, smart. Ooh, and it's so cool because when you want to go higher, you just pull it up. You don't even have to spin your hand around. Blimey, you're such a natural. Oh, thanks, Mika. Ready? Whoa. Here we go. Whoa! Oh my oh, goodness! No. Let me do that! Oh. It's actually harder than it looks, huh? Yeah! Mine broke. Oh, yours looks pretty cute, though. Oh, well, thank you! Oh. Well, shall we go to the next station? Yeah, let's try it out. <laughs> oh, this is fun. All right, come on. Okay. Yep. Washed hands. I think we're ready. Yeah, I'm so excited. Yeah. All right. And what's oh. this station called? Hand building. Hand, hand building. building. Whoa. So do we build with our hands? Yeah, we're going to um, sculpt our animals right now. Oh. Okay. Is this the body or the head? This is going to be our animal body. Oh, oh okay. Fun. Ooh, and look at this. Whee. Wow. It's kind of like the wheel we were at before, but smaller. Yeah. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's 
okay. And what's this one for? We're gonna use these to make our attachment to like the animal's limbs and maybe like some fins or some, whatever you're trying to create. Oh, cool. cool. Well, huh, what kind of animal do I wanna make? Um, maybe a tiger? Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah, what about you? I think I might do a dinosaur. Oh, fun! Yeah, with plates down the back. Ooh, like a stegosaurus. Yeah! Cool! All right, so how do we get started? Just pull it off? Yeah, so you're gonna just pinch a little piece of clay off. Okay. And then you're gonna roll it, use your fingertips to mold the shape that you'd like. So if you're trying to make, um, if you're trying to make a limb, then you know you just want a little foot or yeah. a paw of some okay. sort, right? Ooh, yeah, look at this. Ooh. A really short leg. Yeah. Like this. <laughs> nice. Okay. And how do you get it to stick? So when you make clay attachments, it's called score and slipping. So what we need first is score. needle tools. Needle tools. Oh. <laughs> Nicole. <laughs> I have them right here. Oh. Here you go. You One, just have these needle tools in your jam pack? I don't have anything in my jam pack. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how do you do it? So you're going to take the needle and then we're going to make a little tic-tac-toe mark on one of the bottoms of our piece. Okay, tic-tac-toe. Tic-tac-toe. What a fun game. <laughs> yeah, there we go. And then you're going to do it to the body as well where you're going to connect it. Okay. Ooh, where should I connect it? Okay, how about right yes. here? One, two, three, four. Okay. There we go. All right. And then in these cups, these are called slips. So what you're gonna do is you'll dip your finger in the slip. Oh, like glue? It's glue. It's clay glue, basically. <laughs> you're gonna dot the tic-tac-toe. You'll put them together, and then you'll firmly push it so it could stick to one another. Okay. There we push go. It together. Oh Whoa. yeah, it's sticking. Oh yeah, it did. Check it Whoa. out. Whoa, cool. <laughs> Look at mine. Whoa. Good job. One leg done. And there oh, we go. That looks so good, Luffy. Oh, yours too. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Wow, guys, your, your animals look great. Thank oh, you. Thank you. What do we do next? So now we're going to paint them. Bring Whoa. them to life. Cool. Paint them. Cool. It looks like we have some paint right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, but these brushes look way too big. Mm-hmm. Oh, don't worry. I have paint brushes right here in my jam pack. Oh, you have everything in there. I really do. I have some more too if you want other options. I have a little one, I have a bigger one, I have another little one, I also have a medium sized one, and I also have another one that's, oops, sorry, that's not it, that's a tool. And I have a tiny one, and I have another tiny one. Whoa, okay, I'll use this one and this one. Okay, sounds good. Whoa, and then we just use these paints and put them on the animals? Yes, you, whatever color you want it, whatever designs you want, you're gonna dip it in and then you'll just paint it onto your, to your animal. Awesome, cool. thank you. Let's right. do it. Yeah, since you guys have what you need, I'm gonna go check on the kiln and uh, I'll come back in a while to check on you. All, All right, right. Thank thanks, you. see ya. <laughs> Whoa, wow. cool. Okay, since I'm doing a tiger, I'm gonna use orange. Oh, good idea. Whoa. And I'm gonna use yellow for my dinosaur. It doesn't look like yellow right now, but once it's baked, it's going to turn to a nice bright yellow. Oh, cool. Check this out. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. There we go. Okay. Hey, I've never go. painted clay before. Me neither. Whoa, it's really fun. Oh, see? Whoa. Right now, it looks like the same color as the clay. Yeah. I can't wait to see it when it's yellow. Yeah. My orange isn't that bright, but I bet after it gets fired in the kiln, then from there, I bet it'll turn really bright orange. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, look, water. <laughs> Pretty thirsty. <laughs> no, no, Blippi. What? That's for your paintbrush. Oh, smart. <laughs> yeah, you dip your paintbrush in this water. You don't drink it. And so then you can use a different color without mixing them. There you go. Oh, thank you. I got gotcha. you. I'll get some water later. <laughs> oh, Whoa. Dizzy Tiger. Yeah, look at that. Whoa, this thing's so cool. Yeah, hey, your tiger looks really good. Wow, yours too. It's oh, so colorful. Thank you. Oh, hey. Hey, Hi. wow, guys, your pieces look great. Yeah, thank you like them? They're amazing. <laughs> oh, why aren't they so bright and colorful? So once we take them and put them in the kiln, the colors are going to get a lot brighter. Oh, oh cool. Can't wait to see them. Yeah, so is my orange gonna get like my suspenders and bow tie? Exactly. Whoa, Whoa. and will mine get as bright as the yellow as my headband? Yes. Oh, or the sponge. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, cool. Well, what do we do next? 
Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take your guys' animals and then I'll put them in the kiln and then you could come get them when they're ready. Oh, oh fun. Sounds like a good okay, plan. Okay, here you Kay. go. See you later, Tiger. Okay, be gentle with it. Here you go. Oh. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Oh, See ya. Wow, that was so nice for teaching us about pottery. Yeah, that was really nice. We learned a lot. Yeah. I can't wait to see what they look like. I know. That was really fun. Yeah. Well, shall we return the aprons? Yeah, let's do it. And then we can come back to pick up our things. Great idea. All righty. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, Whoa look. cool. This must be where everyone picks up their pottery. Yeah. <gasps> Ours. Yeah. Cool. What do you think? Whoa, she's right. It did turn bright orange. Yeah, it really did. And mine turned bright yellow. Oh, yours looks so great. Thank you. I really like yours, too. Oh, thanks. Hey, shouldn't we go? Yeah, put it by the pig. Yeah, let's go. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. That was so much fun today! Yeah, that was a great time making these new friends! Yeah! Whoa! Hey, did you notice? They both roar? That's right, because mine's a dinosaur! And mine is a tiger! <laughs> cool, should we roar together? Yeah, will you roar with us? Ready? Roar! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was awesome! Yeah, Whoa. it was so cool molding that Way and creating these? Yeah. And then using the paintbrush and coloring them? Yeah. Oh. Oh, making art is so fun. Yeah, especially with friends. Yeah. Oh, speaking of friends. Oh, yeah. Hello. Will you be our friend? Please say yes. Please say yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we did it. Nice job. Good job. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with us? <laughs> cool. B L I P P I. Blippi. Good job. Will you spell my name with us? Awesome. M E E K A H. Mika. All right. See you again. Bye bye. Bye. And today we're at the Kennedy Space Center in Merritt Island, Florida. We are going to explore space junk, space rockets, and have so much fun. Will you come with me? Well, let's go. Hey, check it out, a rocket garden. Do you know what a rocket is? It's a vehicle that launches stuff into space so that we can learn about other planets and galaxies and stars. Hey, will you count the rockets with me? Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And do you see the big one laying on its side? Nine, there are nine rockets. Hey, let's get a closer look, come on. Right here, can you see it? It's called the Delta II. Isn't that a cool color blue? Whoa, this rocket has gone to space over 150 times. That's a lot of times. And if you look at the top, you can see the American flag. And if you look even higher, it has a shark face. <laughs> Isn't that so funny? It's a shark rocket. Wow, gone to space a lot. That's a hard working shark rocket. <laughs> Let's keep exploring. Come on. Wow, the space shuttle Atlantis. Let's go inside and get a closer look. Come on. Whoa, look at this. <laughs> wow. is the Space Shuttle Atlantis. This space shuttle has been to space multiple times. And it's the last space shuttle that's been to space. And we're in the same room with it. How cool is that? Oh, come over here. 
You see the front part? It kind of looks like an airplane, but it's not a plane. It flies, but it goes all the way to space, and it's called the flight deck. Astronauts can sit in there, and there's all kinds of buttons and controls so that they can navigate through space. You know what's really cool and what really helps them navigate? Do you see those white holes? It's kind of hard to see. Well, those holes track stars. They're called the star trackers. Have you ever looked up into the night sky and looked at stars? Can you imagine if you looked up and saw a space shuttle? Whoa, that would be amazing. It's so cool to look at. There's a lot of different shapes. I see a red triangle up there. Circles, squares. It kind of looks like a puzzle. Huh. Wow, let's keep going. Whoa, check this out. It's a live video of the Space Shuttle Atlantis. We can get a little more information. Here, let me move it so you can see it a little better. Is that good? All right. Hmm, what should we learn about? Ooh, the mid-deck. What happens in there, I wonder? Oh, this is where the astronauts do their cooking and eating and sleeping. They actually make food and sleep and live on the shuttle just like you do at home. That's so cool. And, oh, the flight deck. There's some astronauts right there. View features, yes please. Whoa, see that's inside. You can see the seats where the astronauts sit and there's controllers and buttons and switches so that the commander and the pilot can control and steer the space shuttle. Whoa, I cannot imagine sitting in a space shuttle and not pressing all of those buttons. <laughs> That would be really hard to do. Wow. Hey, do you want to get a closer look of a flight deck? Well, let's blast off and go. Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> Welcome to the flight deck. Oh, there's a lot to look at, isn't there? Well, the front part is called the forward station. And the back part is called the aft station. And aft means rear, so the back. Wow. I think I'm gonna sit down. Oh. Whoa. Okay, look at me. I'm Pilot Mika. Pilot Mika, getting ready to go on a mission. Let's go on this flight together. <laughs> Ooh, I can press all of these buttons because it's just pretend it's not real. So let me just get that uh, ADI landing gear, get the nose in place. Check the cabin, enable, pin, so one, two, three, power on, power on, power on, power on, power on. Here we go! Whoa. I can see so many stars! Whoa! Being a pilot of a space shuttle is really fun! <laughs> Whoa, there's more buttons back here! It must take a long time to learn what all of these buttons and controls and knobs mean. I wonder how long it takes an astronaut to learn what every little button is for. Whoa. Huh. Kind of looks like something you would use on a video game. And there's a whole other side. Look at these screens. There's lots of numbers on these screens. Look, oil, fuel. What happens if the space shuttle runs out of gas? Are there space gas stations? <laughs> Whoa! There's more stars over there. Wow! Oh, I think we're coming in for a landing. Everyone hold on tight. We're here. We landed nice and safe. Thank you, Pilot Mika. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> hey, up here. <laughs> Ready? Three, two, one. Blast off! Woo! <laughs> that was really fast and.
been really fun. Whoa. Hey, now we're at the bottom of the Space Shuttle Atlantis. This is really neat. We were able to see the top, but now we're at the bottom. Whoa, look at the wing. It's really, really big. Have you ever made a paper airplane? You know how when you make a paper airplane, you can make it to go really fast or really slow or really high or really low, depending on how you fold the paper and make the wings? Well, engineers had to work really hard to figure out how to make wings that would soar into space. This is a delta wing. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> oh, come down here. That says United States. And the United States flag is right there. See? Red, white, and blue. <laughs> Whoa, come look at this. Whoa, do you know what this is? This is a smaller version of the Space Shuttle Atlantis. See, it's right there. It even says Atlantis under that American flag. So see the orange part in the middle right there? That is the external tank. And that's what holds all of the fuel to help the space shuttle go into space. And there's two rockets on the side. Will you count them with me? One, two, two rockets. And these rockets are rocket boosters to help the space shuttle boost into space like this. Three, two, one. <laughs> Let's look over here. Whoa! I bet you've seen these before, but way smaller. Yeah, and they're really big tires. And these tires right here actually went to space. <laughs> See? The picture right here? There's three sets of landing gear on a space shuttle, each with two tires. Learning about space is so fun. Come on. Whoa, look how big this telescope is. Have you ever seen a telescope this big before? <laughs> this is the Hubble Space Telescope. Do you know what a telescope is? It's a device that allows you to see things really far away. So, oh, like I can see the Space Shuttle Atlantis way over there. <laughs> but this one is massive and it's orbited over 300 miles from Earth, allowing us to see images of space. <laughs> In fact, this telescope has sent hundreds of thousands of images of space back to Earth. That way we can see what space looks like. And see these things on the side? They kind of look like wings, but they're solar panels. They attract the sunlight and then turns it into usable energy. This is the coolest telescope I have ever seen. <laughs> I love space. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> I'm a space shuttle. <laughs> fun today learning about space shuttles and space rockets, especially the space shuttle Atlantis. We got to go really close to a real space shuttle that went to space. What an amazing day. Thanks for learning with me. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Great. M-E-E. K-A-H, Mika. Well, I'll see you next time. I'm blasting off. Three, two, one. Hi, it's me, Mika. And today we are at Southern Hill Farms in Claremont, Florida. This farm is so cool because they grow flowers and they grow fruit. So today I want to pick some blueberries, make blueberry lemonade, and find some beautiful sunflowers. I love sunflowers because they're yellow, one of my favorite colors. Come with me. Whoa, cool. These are buckets 
that you can use to collect the blueberries in once they're picked. <laughs> That's so fun. Oh, come down here, look at this. <laughs> Have you ever seen sand on a farm before? <laughs> yeah, you might not expect sand at a farm. But this sand that's really soft and fine, it's called sugar sand. And it's really helpful for the blueberries. With this sand, the water can drain quickly, which is super important because blueberries do not grow in a lot of water. So this sand's really fun to play with and touch, but it's really important for the blueberries. So I'll just leave that there. <laughs> do you want to pick blueberries with me? Let's go. Take a look at this. It's a blueberry bush or a shrub. Here, come a little closer. See, there's oops, a stem and the leaves. And look, the fruit, the best part. So see how some of these berries, they're different colors. There's kind of a purple, a blue and a green. Do you know which berry is ripe? <laughs> That's right, this one, the blue one. Those are the ones that you wanna pick. And ripe means that it's fully grown and ready to eat. <laughs> They're so cute. <gasps> I know, we could pick 20 ripe blueberries. Will you count with me? Cool. So we have one, Hmm. Oh, here's another one. Two. Whoop, there's one down here. Three. Four. Almost there. 17. 18. 19. 20. 20 ripe blueberries. Thanks for counting with me. See, you can pick them off of the bush or you can pick them up off the ground as long as they're nice, blue, and ripe. <laughs> oh. This is gonna be really good in my blueberry lemonade. You can do all sorts of things with blueberries. What do you like to do with blueberries? You could make jam or jelly for a blueberry and peanut butter sandwich, or you can make a smoothie, blueberry pancakes, cupcakes, parfaits, juice. There's so much you can do with blueberries. <sighs> Should we keep looking at blueberries? All right, cool. Let's go over there, there's more. Wow, look, it's a baby blueberry shrub. See, it's much smaller than the other plants we saw, but one day it's gonna grow nice and big and full and have a ton of blueberries on it. You'll notice on the young plants, they have little flowers, see? <laughs> so cute. Oh, I see another ripe blueberry. Here, take a look. See how? Kind of looks white on the outside, that's called bloom. And bloom is like a sunblock for blueberries. It protects it against the sun so the blueberries don't get too much sun. <gasps> Check it out, a really big yellow slide. Oh, I have to go down. Let me put my blueberries down so I don't spill any and I'm nice and safe. Come on. Whoa. I get it. You use the potato sack to go down the slide. See, you put your feet in here in the bottom, get situated and then you woo, woo, woo. <laughs> oh, look at this. You must be this tall to ride alone. All others must ride with an adult. All right, let's see. Uh, I think 
I'm tall enough to ride alone. <laughs> Let's check it out. Hey. <gasps> Whoa, it's really high up. This is quite the climb. This slide is going to be awesome. Look how high we are. You can see the entire farm. <laughs> okay, only slide feet first. Okay, that was my plan anyway. All right, so you lay your potato sack down like this. You sit down and feet first. Feet will go in this little pocket here. <gasps> okay, do you wanna watch me slide all the way down to the bottom? All right, see you there. <laughs> Three. Two, one, slide! Whoa! 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 <laughs> that was so fast! That was awesome! <laughs> All right, let's put this over here. And oh, my blueberries! Oh, there they are. All right, come on, blueberries. And you come too. There's more fun things to do. Oh, check it out! It's a carousel. Have you ever been on a carousel before? <laughs> well, let's go. Blueberries down and go for a ride. Hmm. Oh, I love this horse. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at this yellow hair. Oh, one of my favorite colors. All right. I'm ready, horse. Let's go. <laughs> Yeah, on the other side. We were going up to a stop. Wait till it gets to a complete stop before you get off the horse. That's the safest thing to do. And we're stopped. <laughs> that was so fun. Let's see what else we can find here. Wow, this is a huge jumping pillow. <laughs> Come on, let's see. Whoa, super bouncy. Whoa, this is so fun. Can you imagine if this was really a pillow? Oh, good night. <laughs> Whoa, let's see, what can I do on here? Whoa, I can do one of my all time favorite things, a cartwheel. Ready? Oh, I can also do a round off. <laughs> Whoa, hey, you can jump with me. What's one of your favorite jumps? You can do this. Woohoo! You could do it on the other side. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm so excited to make blueberry lemonade. I already made a lot of lemonade right here. To make lemonade, you need lemons, and you need sugar to make it sweet because lemons are pretty sour, and you need some water. But I think we need one more lemon to go into this lemonade. So let me cut one here. I'll show you how you get the juice out. And remember, only grown-ups should be using knives. Okay, so cut this in half, like that, and then this, is a juicer. So we're gonna add that to the picture that I already made before. Yum! Okay, and my favorite part 
We have some juice from the blueberries that you helped me pick earlier. We washed the blueberries and we juiced them and now I have some yummy blueberry juice to add to this lemonade. All right. Whoa. <laughs> Isn't that such a pretty color? All right. Now we'll take a spoon and stir it up. Mmm, smells sweet and fruity. Hey, okay, think that's pretty good. And I have a cup here so I can taste it. I have to make sure it tastes good. All right, whoops. <laughs> and, oh, I should add some extra blueberries to make it really special. Mmm. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's really, really tasty. Oh, I love blueberries so much. Okay, so I picked blueberries. I made blueberry lemonade. What's the other thing that I wanted to do? <gasps> Find sunflowers, that's right. I wonder if there are sunflowers around here. I have these binoculars. They'll help me look a little closer. Let's see. Where are the sun? Oh, I see sunflowers down there. Let's get a closer look. Come on. I found the sunflowers. Oh, there's a really big one down here. Wow, it's so pretty. See, the inside looks like the sun and the petals all around look like sun rays. Isn't that cool? Like a big, beautiful sunshine. And speaking of sunshine, did you know that sunflowers are attracted to the sun? So if the sun is shining over here, a sunflower will look like this. <laughs> and if the sun is shining over there, the sunflower will look like this. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, they're so beautiful. So I think we did everything that we planned. Let's see. We picked blueberries, we made blueberry lemonade, and we found sunflowers. We did it. Thank you for your help. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> well, we'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, it's me, Mika. And today we're at the Kennedy Space Center in Merritt Island, Florida. We are going to explore space junk, space rockets, and have so much fun. Will you come with me? Well, let's go. Hey, check it out. A rocket garden. Do you know what a rocket is? It's a vehicle that launches stuff into space so that we can learn about other planets and galaxies and stars. <laughs> hey, will you count the rockets with me? Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and do you see the big one laying on its side? Nine, there are nine rockets. Hey, let's get a closer look. Come on. Whoa, this is gonna be really cool. This rocket right here, can you see it? It's called the Delta II. Isn't that a cool color blue? Whoa, this rocket has gone to space over 150 times. That's a lot of times. And if you look at the top, you can see the American flag. And if you look even higher, it has a shark face. <laughs> Isn't that so funny? It's a shark rocket. Wow, it's gone to space a lot. That's a hard working shark rocket. <laughs> Let's keep exploring. Come on. Wow, the space shuttle Atlantis. 
Let's go inside and get a closer look. Come on. You can see it a little better. Is that good? All right. Hmm, what should we learn about? Ooh, the mid deck. What happens in there, I wonder? Oh, this is where the astronauts do their cooking and eating and sleeping. They actually make food and sleep and live on the shuttle just like you do at home. That's so cool. And, oh, the flight deck. Ha, there's some astronauts right there. View features, yes please. Whoa, see, that's inside. You can see the seats where the astronauts sit and there's controllers and buttons and switches so that the commander and the pilot can control and steer the space shuttle. Whoa. I cannot imagine sitting in a space shuttle and not pressing all of those buttons. <laughs> that would be really hard to do. Wow. Hey, do you want to get a closer look of a flight deck? Well, let's blast off and go. Ready? Three, two, one. <gasps> Welcome to the flight deck. Oh, there's a lot to look at, isn't there? Well, the front part is called the forward station. And the back part is called the aft station. And aft means rear, so the back. Wow. I think I'm gonna sit down. Oh. Whoa. Okay, look at me. I'm Pilot Mika. Pilot Mika, getting ready to go on a mission. Let's go on this flight together. <laughs> Woo, I can press all of these buttons because it's just pretend, it's not real. So let me just get that uh, ADI landing gear, get the nose in place, check the cabin, enable, fit, so one, two, three, power on, power on, power on, power on, power on. Here we go! I can see so many stars! Whoa! Being a pilot of a space shuttle is really fun. <laughs> Whoa, there's more buttons back here. Oh. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> it must take a long time to learn what all of these buttons and controls and knobs mean. I wonder how long it takes an astronaut to learn what every little button is for. Whoa. Huh. Kind of looks like something you would use on a video game. And there's a whole other side. Look at these screens. 
there's lots of numbers on these screens. Look, oil, fuel. What happens if the space shuttle runs out of gas? Are there space gas stations? <laughs> Whoa, there's more stars over there. Wow. Oh, I think we're coming in for a landing. Everyone hold on tight. Ooh. We're here, we landed nice and safe. Thank you, Pilot Mika. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> hey, up here. <laughs> Ready? Three, two, one, blast off! Woo! <laughs> that was really fast and really fun. Whoa. Hey, now we're at the bottom of the Space Shuttle Atlantis. This is really neat. We were able to see the top, and now we're at the bottom. Whoa, look at the wing. It's really, really big. Have you ever made a paper airplane? You know how when you make a paper airplane, you can make it to go really fast or really slow or really high or really low, depending on how you fold the paper and make the wings? Well, engineers had to work really hard to figure out how to make wings that would soar into space. This is a delta wing. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> oh, come down here. That says United States. And the United States flag is right there. See? Red, white, and blue. <laughs> Whoa, come look at this. Whoa, do you know what this is? This is a smaller version of the Space Shuttle Atlantis. See, it's right there. It even says Atlantis under that American flag. So see the orange part in the middle right there? That is the external tank. And that's what holds all of the fuel to help the Space Shuttle go into space. And there's two rockets on the side. Will you count them with me? One, two, two rockets. And these rockets are rocket boosters to help the space shuttle boost into space like this. Three, two, one. <laughs> Let's look over here. Whoa. I bet you've seen these before, but way smaller. Yeah, and they're really big tires. And these tires right here actually went to space. <laughs> See, the picture right here, there's three sets of landing gear on a space shuttle, each with two tires. Learning about space is so fun, come on. how big this telescope is. Have you ever seen a telescope this big before? <laughs> this is the Hubble Space Telescope. Do you know what a telescope is? It's a device that allows you to see things really far away. So, oh, like I can see the Space Shuttle Atlantis way over there. <laughs> but this one is massive and it's orbited over 300 miles from Earth, allowing us to see images of space. <laughs> In fact, this telescope has sent hundreds of thousands of images of space back to Earth. That way we can see what space looks like. And see these things on the side? They kind of look like wings, but they're solar panels. They attract the sunlight and then turns it into usable energy. This is the coolest telescope I have ever seen. <laughs> I love space. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> I'm a space shuttle. <laughs> that was so much fun today learning about space shuttles and space rockets, especially the space shuttle Atlantis. We got to go really close to a real space shuttle that went to space. What an amazing day. Thanks for learning with me. Well, 
This is the end of this video. But if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Great! M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. Well, I'll see you next time. I'm blasting off. Three, two, one. Hi, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at the Lang Foundation in Los Angeles, California. And here, you can adopt a dog or a cat, and then they can be part of your family. Oh, there's a dog right there. Oh, hi, I'm Mika. Hi, I'm Megan. Hi, Megan, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. This is Willow. Oh, hi, Willow. Oh, it's always important to ask before you pet an animal. Uh, can I pet Willow? Yes, you can. Okay. So just crouch down so you're on her level uh -huh. and put your fist out so she can okay. smell you. Willow, Willow. Oh, what do you think? Aww. <laughs> so sweet. Well, are there more animals inside? There are. Oh, let's go check them out. So what is this little one's name? This is Sprout. <gasps> Sprout! What a cute name. Hi, Sprout. I have some treats for Sprout. Sprout allowed to have a treat? Yes, he okay. is. See, you want a treat? You think Sprout likes treats? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Can we bring Sprout down to the ground and yeah. see if Sprout will want to play with us? Aww. Whoa, cool squeaky toy. It's a pink snake. <laughs> so once someone adopts an animal, what do they need to take care of the animal? Yeah, so for dogs, they need a leash, a collar, a harness, um, food, bowls, uh, and a lot of toys. Whoa. Food, bowls, toys. It's a lot of work to take care of an animal. They need a lot of things. Aww. And is it different for cats? Yeah, so cats would need um, also food bowls, uh, litter box, litter, um, some good things to scratch on. Oh yeah, cats love to scratch. And a <laughs> safe carrier in case you need to take them to the vet. Oh wow. So you get a lot of things once you adopt an animal here. Yes, yes, we give people some of the food that they've been eating, um, some toys. And where do you get all of these toys? They have so many fun things to play with here. We get a lot of it donated. Oh, People yeah? have extra supplies, they donate them to us, and yeah, it's a big help for us. Whoa, what a great idea to donate toys for these dogs and cats to play with. <laughs> oh, what's this toy? Where did these animals come from? So we rescue these animals from city shelters. Uh, basically, the shelters are crowded with animals, so we take them and find them new homes. Oh, that's really nice. And if someone wants to adopt an animal, what do they do? So we would have them come in and meet some of the animals. They'd fill out an application, and we would help them find the right animal that matches their family. Wow, that's awesome! It's so fun to play with cats and dogs, but it's also important to remember you have to take very special care of them. Whoa, come look at this dog. Whoa, what kind of dog is this? This is an American Bully Mix. American Bully Mix, whoa. This is a bigger dog, Oh, And she's so loving, what's her name? Uh, her name is Lady. Hi, Lady. Aww. So, so sweet. What's this? A blue, like a little mouse with a super long tail. <laughs> Aww. This dog is so cool. Ooh, and I love the purple leash. One of my favorite colors. Love your leash. Oh, and what's on her belly here? Yeah, so she's definitely had a litter of puppies. Wow, a litter of puppies? That's so cool. How many puppies do you know? Um, I don't, but I think they can have up to 10 puppies. Whoa, that's a lot of puppies. Wow. Oh, well, it was nice to meet you. Thanks for playing with us.
Luis is ready for her bandage change. Okay, great. Aww. Hi! So what room is this? So this is our medical treatment area. Oh, a medical treatment area. So this is where animals go to be taken care of if they're sick or they have, maybe they hurt themselves. What's wrong with her leg? So we rescued her with a broken leg. Aww. And yeah, now she has a cast on and she's healing. Oh, good. That must mean she's feeling better. She definitely is. Yeah, I can hear some purring in there. She's purring really loud. Yeah, cats purr when they're in a great mood, right? Aww. And why is she wearing a big yellow flower? She looks super cute, and yellow is one of my favorite colors. <laughs> so that's an e collar, and it keeps her from taking her bandage off. Oh, that's so smart and super cute. <laughs> Are there other cats that we can see? There are. Oh, let's go see some more cats. Feel better. Cool. Welcome to the catio. Get it? Cat? Catio? It's the catio. <laughs> now they said that there are a lot of cats in here. Hmm. Will you help me find them? <laughs> awesome. Okay. Whoa. Look at all this. It kind of looks like something you would see at a playground. The cats can climb up here and they can scratch. <laughs> Come over here. Shh. I see a cat. Can you see it? Oh, it's sleeping. We found our first cat. Good job. Hmm. There's another cat over here. You see it? Hi, cat. That cat looks really soft. <laughs> and there's another cat. Hi, kitty. Wow, so we found one, two, three cats so far. <laughs> wow. Hmm. Do you see any other cats? <gasps> Come down here, all the way to the floor. There are two cats in there. They're cuddling. <gasps> I wonder if they're best friends. <laughs> Hi. They're so cute. So we have one, two, three, four, five cats so far. I wonder if there's any more. <laughs> There's some water and some food in here. They take really good care of their cats. Hmm. Oh, look down here at these little boxes. See some blankets in here so the cats can be nice and comfy cozy. Oh, and look, it's a cutout of a cat face. That's cool. I don't see any cats though, do you? Hmm. Oh. <gasps> I see one right here. Oh my goodness. Shh. This cat is taking a cat nap. Wow, it looks really comfortable. I wonder if cats have dreams. Hmm. So, one, two, three, four, five, six cats. We found six cats. Thanks for finding cats with me. I wonder what else is here. Come on. Check it out. I'm in a cat room. This is where all the cats are hanging out, relaxing like this one. Whoa, hi, I'm Mika. This room is so cool. There's a tree in here. Whoa. I bet the cats like to scratch on the tree. Maybe they scratch their back on there. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Whoa, and cool thing is to climb on. Look, a little cat toy, a little mouse. <laughs> what else is over here? Whoa. Do you know what this is? This long yellow tube? The cats can climb up here and then climb through the tube. Maybe you've done something like that at a playground before. They must have so much fun here. And in each little cubby is where the cat can go and have a little nap. Any cats in here? Oh, 
There's a cat in there. I didn't even know that. Hi. <gasps> There's two cats in there. I don't know if you can see. There's two cats just hanging out. Oh, a teddy bear. I wonder if cats like to cuddle with stuffed animals. That's so sweet. Aw. Well, I have a cat toy. Have you ever seen anything like this before? Let's see if some of these cats want to play with it, okay? Um, <laughs> anyone want to play with me today? What about you? <laughs> this cat's like, please don't bother me. I'm trying to take a nap right now. Okay, understood, understood. Okay, hey look, there's big bowls of water here because it's important for cats to hydrate, just like us. Hey, something else that they can climb on. And look, these little holes, these little hidey holes that they can just get all comfy. Cats seem to nap a lot. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Megan. Hey. Oh my goodness. Who I is this? One more friend for you to see. This oh is Memphis. Oh my gosh. Can I hold Memphis? Yes. Oh, look at this little kitten. How old is Memphis? He's eight weeks. Eight weeks? Just a little baby kitten. Wow, Memphis is brand new to the world. Oh, wait, is Memphis? From Memphis? Um, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't know how we got the name Memphis. Aww, it's a super cute name. So Memphis is only eight weeks old. What does Memphis usually do? Um, he plays with his two brothers. <gasps> you have two yeah, brothers? Yeah, two brothers. Oh, that's so fun. Wow, baby kittens are so teeny tiny. Aww, that's so nice meeting you, Memphis. Oh my goodness. You do such a good job taking care of all of these animals. Aw, thank you. Aw. <laughs> well, thanks for letting me hang out with you, Memphis. <laughs> that was so fun, getting to hang out with dogs and cats today. We learned about how to take care of our pets and adopt them and make them part of our family. Oh, cats and dogs are so cool. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> well, thanks for learning with me. See you next time. Bye. Hi, it's me, Mika. And today we're at Nailed It DIY Studio in Orlando, Florida. DIY means do it yourself. And today we're gonna build and make art. Oh, I can't wait, come on. Oh, look at all of this stuff. These are all signs that people have made and that's what I get to make today. Oh, <laughs> look, this box says meow. <laughs> oh. I wonder if it's something that you could put cat treats in or cat food. Oh, and look at this one. All guests must be approved by the dog. <laughs> That's really funny. Oh, I see some paint colors down here. Let's see how many colors they have. A lot. Oh, I wonder if they have two of my favorite colors. Do you know what they are? <laughs> oh, they're purple and yellow. <gasps> and they're right next to my best friend Blippi's favorite colors. Blue and orange. Ha, huh, that's cool. Wow, these are all the different wood pieces that you can use to make art. Oh, look at this one. It's pretty small. You can have a small sign that says, welcome. <laughs> Or, whoa, look at this. This giant rectangle could make a really cool sign and it could hold a lot of words. Maybe it could say something like, welcome friends, come on inside for snacks and games and good times. We love our friends, welcome. <laughs> and here's a square, one, two, three, four even sides. 
bigger squares up there. Hmm. Oh, cool! A circle! A small circle and a really big circle. Hmm. Which one should I choose? Uh, I think I like this one. The medium stacked square. That's number 07. We have to remember that. 07. Okay? Come on. Oh, hi, Margie. Oh, hi, Mika. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm pretty good. I'm excited to make art today. Awesome. So, did you pick a size? Yes, number 07. Perfect. And did you want to add anything to that? Oh, um, oh, maybe that silver hook right there. Okay. Oh, and can I also have that bow tie? For my best friend. <laughs> Absolutely. So we have your station set up over here. You ready to get started? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's go. All right, let's go. Okay, we have everything we need. We have lots of cool paint, two of my favorite colors, purple and yellow. Oh, well, this one's called dandelion. Fancy. And we have pearl and latte. We also have a paint roller, easily put on the paint. And we have some sponges. We have silver hooks. And we have our crown stapler, our power stapler, and the stacked wood piece that I picked out. See, it's actually four little pieces. And when they're stacked together, it makes one beautiful square. <laughs> and what are these for? So these are actually to hold the wood stack pieces together. Oh, okay, makes sense. So what's the first thing we need to do? So your first step is to put a line of glue on each one and then flip them over. Okay, I think I can do that. Okay. Now what? So we have these lines here and oh, those yeah. are actually where you are going to put the staples. Oh, so these lines, it's like a little guide. Exactly. So first we are gonna put our safety glasses oh, on. Oh, right. If we're gonna use a power tool, we need to be nice and safe. And remember, only use a power stapler if you are with a grown-up. Whoa, you're really good at that. <laughs> Think you can do that? Yeah. All right. So you're gonna follow the black lines, that's my guide. All right, good teamwork. You are a pro. Oh, you did thank good. thank you. <laughs> All right, so oh. now you're gonna flip it over. And there you have it. Look at this perfect square. What's the next step? So the next step is we're gonna take it to the sanding station where you're gonna make it smooth. Ooh, let's make it smooth. <laughs> Come on. So this is the sander. Okay. What you're gonna do is put one hand here one hand under here. Mm -hmm. There is a power button that you want to push. Okay. Once it's on, you are going to run it over the whole thing until it's as smooth as a piece of paper. Oh, all right. Well, why do you want it super smooth? It helps the paint stick to the wood. Oh, okay. So let's make this super smooth. Time to sand. are going to choose your base color. So we're gonna look at oh. your stencil. <gasps> yes, I can't wait to see. All right, so this is the stencil we have for you. Wow, look at this. An ice cream cone, one of my favorite sweet treats. And oh, that's my name and my headband. Oh, and this is gonna be my bag. And this other stencil will help make it really look like my bag. Oh, I love it. Okay, so for the base, um, I'm thinking purple. Yes, yeah. that is a good color. Okay, so I can just put it everywhere? Yep, so you're just gonna squeeze that over the top of the wood. Okay. Okay, and I get to use this really fun paint roller to spread it all over the wood. So you're gonna paint the top and then all of the sides. All right, now we just wait for it to dry? Actually, we have a way to dry it quicker. Oh, how? So we are going to use this blow dryer. Oh. 
You've probably seen a blow dryer before. It's to dry your hair. So there is that. You are gonna blow dry it on the base setting. Okay. <laughs> cool. Is it ready? Ready to go. Okay, turn it to base. And let's dry! Okay, you're done. Wow. <laughs> okay, now what? Oh, it is dry. Cool. So now what you want to do is sand it until it's smooth again so that we can put the stencil on. Okay. This time I'm going to give you a piece of sandpaper as well so you can sand over the top of it. Nice. Oh, cool. It's purple sandpaper and it's really rough but this rough piece of paper will make this smooth. Hey, those are opposites, rough and smooth. Whoa. <laughs> Bobby pin. <laughs> All right, like this. So you're gonna go back and forth over the whole thing, just like that. Yes, perfect. Okay. All right, so your board is nice and smooth. We are ready for the stencil. Yes, all, all right. right. So the stencil has a couple of layers. We are going to peel the white layer off first. Oh, it's like a giant sticker. Yes. All right, so I'm gonna hand you one side. Okay. And we are gonna center it on your board together. I think that looks good. What do you think? I think it's pretty good, yeah. Okay, so we're just gonna stick this on. Okay. I'm gonna give you a squeegee. A squeegee? Yes. I know what that is. This is your squeegee. Yeah. What you wanna do is run it over the whole thing. And you see how it turns a little bit darker? Mm-hmm. That's how you know it's really stuck to the wood. Cool, and this is gonna push all the bubbles out. Yes. Okay. Bye, Bubbles. So now that it's all stuck to the wood, what I want you to do is peel this top layer off. Okay. We're actually gonna start from over here. Ah. And pull down towards you, slow and low. Slow and low, my favorite way to go. Oh wait, oh, come on, sticker. <laughs> wow, that looks cool already. <laughs> all right, so now we're ready to paint. Yes, all right. So, hmm, I'm gonna start with the ice cream cone and I'm going to use pearl. That way it will look like vanilla, one of my favorite flavors. So what you wanna do is dip the wide end of the sponge, that end of the sponge, into the paint. Okay. Take a look at it. Does it look wet? Yep. That's too much paint. Oh no. So what you wanna do is dab it off and you can use the paper or you can use the plate. Okay, I'll dab on the plate there. All right, look at it now. Does it look wet? Nope. You're good to go. So now you're gonna just dab up and down. Okay. For the whole thing. Like this. And is it okay if it gets on the blue part? Yes, it is. Okay. It's a stencil, so that part is gonna come off. All right. So let's cover this ice cream cone. Okie doke. Perfect, so now you can pour your next color for the cone. Ooh, and the cone, I'm going to make that a latte. You look like a sugar cone. I'm gonna be careful because I don't want it to get on the top of the ice cream cone. But even if it does, we can always fix it. Oh, you know what? I like your attitude, Margie. Okay, that cone's looking pretty tasty. Yes, it is. All oh, right. So what color did you want to paint your name? Oh, my name, I want it to be yellow. Yes, I love it. All right, so let's go ahead and pour the yellow. Okay. So yellow there, wide end, dab, dab, dab. You got it. Oh yeah, now I'm feeling like a pro over here. Let's see, my headband is yellow. So I'll just use the same yellow. <gasps> mm. 
Margie! What happened? I need two more colors for my bag. You're right. Do you know what colors are on my bag? Yep, blue and orange. All right, so go ahead and pick the blue and orange that you want. Okay. Down there. Oh, this is good. And, oh, this. Ooh. Yeah, this will look cool. Okay, do we need the other stencil yet or no? Not yet. So okay. what we're gonna do with this is once we peel this up, we'll put this one on so it really makes it look like your back. Awesome. So I should start with this one, I think. Dab, 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 and get the whole bag. Perfect. All right, so take a look at it. Do you like it like that, or do you want to do another coat? Oh, I think I like it like that. Perfect. So we are going to give this one good blow dry again. Okay. And then we're ready to peel. All right, let's do it. So this time you are going to blow dry on the stencil setting and just be careful, it is powerful. We don't want everything flying away. Okay, I'll be careful. <laughs> Here we go. Whoop, ah, that is powerful. <laughs> it's dry, so now it is reveal time. Oh, okay. You ready? <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna turn it this way because we wanna peel the stencil against the grain. Oh, okay. Do you know what wood grain is? Uh, you can explain it. Okay. <laughs> so the wood grain are the lines that you see in the Oh, wood. that's right, yeah. So if the, if the lines of the wood are going this way, mm -hmm. we wanna peel this way. Oh, gotcha, against the grain, exactly. okay. Exactly. So you're gonna start with one corner and then peel down towards you. Towards this corner or each? Down towards you. So, yes. All right, let's see how it looks. Whoa! Uh-oh, there's a little piece That's stuck. That's okay, it can rip, it can tear, that's totally fine. Oop, there we go. Oop. Whoa! That looks so cool! Look how good you did! Wow, check it out! So now we are ready to put the other part of your bag on. Oh, that's right. We have another stencil. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna peel the backing off and we will center it together. Okay. You good? Looks good to me. Okay. All right, ready? Let's commit. Oh, we did it. <laughs> You're ready for your paint. All right, let's get the orange on there. That looks pretty good. Okay, do you remember what comes next? We have to dry it. Yes, okay. Okay, now what setting should I put so it on? So you're gonna be on the stencil setting. Makes sense. Here we go. That's powerful. There you go. Woo! Everything's about to fly. I know. <laughs> okay, so do you remember the wood lines? Oh yes, you wanna go against the grain. Yes. So we wanna go this way? Correct. Okay. There's my bag. <gasps> it looks so good. Oh, this is so, so cool. So now I just need two hooks because I wanna be able to hang my headband and my bag. <laughs> All right, so we have the hooks right here. Okay. I'm gonna have you pick two hooks out of there. Yep, two hooks. Whoop. Okay, we have one, two. So we are going to be using a power tool again. Okay, so, so we need our safety glasses. You know it, safety first. So I will drill the little holes to get the hooks started and then you'll screw the hooks in. Sounds good. Let's put this one right here. Okay. Ready All for right. the hooks? Two holes, and here we go. So I can just twist them in, right? Correct. Almost there. There we go. Nice. <gasps> it's finished. <laughs> wow, look at the sign. 
I love it so much. Thank you, Margie, for all your help in helping me make this awesome Mika sign. You are so welcome. <laughs> well, I guess I'll see you around. Yeah, sounds good. We'll all see right. you next time. All right, have a good one. Thanks Bye. again. You're Bye. welcome. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wasn't that so fun making this really cool Mika sign? <laughs> Today, I got to build a sign, sand it, and paint it. Art is so much fun. <laughs> Thanks for playing with me. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool! Oh, we can spell it right here on the sign. Ready? M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> well, we'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, it's me, Mika, and look where I'm at. I'm at Spokane Gymnastics in Spokane Valley, Washington. And this is an amazing place where I can jump and play and move my body and probably do even more cartwheels. Let's learn how to do some gymnastics. Come on. Wow, check it out. We are in a gymnastics gym. This is a place where you can practice your gymnastics moves and climb and stretch and jump. Whoa, look at this. It looks like a giant crayon. Do you know what color this is? The color green. <laughs> Let's see. Woo, these look like some fun shapes. This is a triangle. Ooh, and this is also green. And look at the side here. I see another triangle and it's yellow. Oh, and look, there's some blue. <gasps> Do you know what shape this is? Yeah, it's a rectangle and it's red. Wow, whoa, this half circle kind of looks like a rainbow and it's yellow on the side, one of my favorite colors. <laughs> oh, look at this little green circle. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> wow, two more giant crowns. Green and orange. Wow, it's so neat. I wonder what they're for. Oh, look at this big circle. Reminds me of a big donut. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> wow. Wait a second. I get it. It's an obstacle course. But we will need to practice and move our bodies and warm up to do an obstacle course like this. Gymnasts need to warm up and be really flexible so that they can move their bodies easily and not get hurt. <laughs> I see a gymnast over there. Let's go say hi. 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 <laughs> I'm Coach Kelsey. Hi, I'm Mika. Hi, Mika. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Do you work here? I do. I coach preschool gymnastics here. Whoa, a gymnastics coach? That means she knows a lot about gymnastics. <laughs> Would you like to get a lesson today? Yes, please. All right, let's do it. Awesome. Come on, let's go. Yes, I'm so excited to learn today. I'm excited to teach you. Now we gotta get ready, so we have to make sure that nothing's in the way. Oh. Do you think you can take off your bag? <laughs> yeah, good idea. All right. <laughs> All right, we're gonna warm up our body so we feel good to get ready for gymnastics. Okay, I can't wait. Do you think you can run like a tiger, fast like a tiger? Oh yeah, I know what a tiger is. Can you be fast like a tiger too? Hurrah, hurrah. Here we go. Whoa. <laughs> that was awesome. Thank you. All right, we're going to jump now like a kangaroo. Oh, okay, jump like a kangaroo. Whoa, this is fun. Nice. Okay, can you guess what I am? Rawr! Whoa, on all fours and growling. Are you a bear? I am a bear. Oh, cool. <laughs> okay, let's see. Rawr! Awesome, let's turn around. Whoa. Nice job. <laughs> All right, we're pretty warmed up. Let's get to stretching. Okay. All right, we're gonna be really, really big. Whoa. Big, like a hippopotamus. 
you're more flexible than me because you're a real gymnast. I've been practicing. <laughs> this is our straddle shape. Okay. Can you tread it like a trunk? Can you move your hands like this? Oh, like an elephant. All right, we're gonna put our feet together. Get nice and small. This is our squat. All right, we're gonna go one, two, three, and pop down. One, two, three. This is our pike. Raise up high. Okay. And touch your toes. Whoa. Oh, it nice. feels really good to stretch. And you can go a little bit further. Nice shape. All right, we're gonna get into our tuck. Okay. All right, hug it like a teddy bear. Get a little rock and roll. When I count to three, we'll do another blast, okay? Oh, a blast, okay. One, two, three, blast. Blast. There's our pie. Nice. All right, let's get our hands behind us. Okay. We're gonna bend our knees, and we're gonna push up our belly. You feeling flexible? Yeah. This is our tabletop. Oh yeah, it's like I'm a little coffee table. Yeah, can you wave? Hello. Hello. <laughs> All right, let's do one more shape. This is our hollow. Hollow? Hollow. <laughs> and you point your gymnastics toes. Pointing so go. hard. And then you turn it right into our arch shape, like a seal. Our back is an arch. Oh, that feels good. Ar, ar, ar. All right, we're pretty, we're pretty um, stretched out. Yeah, you ready I for our lesson that. now? Yeah. All right, let's have gymnastics hands oh. on. And let's go. Oh, let's go. <laughs> All right, we got our wall here. We're going to do some handstands. Handstands on a wall? On a wall, so oh. we can be upside down. Whoa, it's really fun to be upside down. <laughs> like a monkey, okay. Yeah. My little guys, we call these wall walkers. Okay. Did you bring your muscles today? <laughs> oh, I right. did. We gotta push the ground and we gotta stay off our head. Okay. So we're gonna hold ourselves up and we're gonna walk the wall as far as you can. Whoa. Right. <laughs> Let's count to three. Okay. One, One two, two, three. Safely put your feet down. You did Whoa, it! That was fun! All right, let's learn another handstand. Okay. So we're gonna learn our lunge shape, one Good. foot in front a little bit, and we're going to kind of raise our hands, lift our tail, like okay. an animal tail. We reach, 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 and here comes your pop! Whoa, okay. Pop! Oh, there it is! No, I did it! <laughs> Good handstand! Thank you! And don't forget to say ta-da! Ta-da! I love it. Okay, in gymnastics, we use a springboard, so we have to learn how to run fast. A springboard? What's that? It helps you jump. So at the end of this, I'm gonna show you how we just jump really big and reach up high. Okay, yeah, show me. <laughs> All right, here's our tigers. Okay. So we wanna run fast. We wanna jump and reach up Whoa. high. That looks so fun. Your turn. Okay, ready? <laughs> run on the tiger. Jump. Oh. Ta-da! That was fast. <laughs> Thank you. That was really cool. Do you know what animal this is? Oh yeah, that's an elephant. <laughs> <laughs> so <Yes>. cute. <laughs> Good job. Okay, elephants like to march. So we're gonna march, march, march. And we're ready to do a cartwheel. Oh, on a block? Yeah, do you see the hand? Yeah, that must be where I would put my hands. Yeah, so what I do is I start that lunge again. Uh -huh. I kind of pat my foot because that's the one I want to reach for. Okay. And then we're going to be like a big old, big old wings, like, like a bird. Wow. So we're going to fly over. Oh, did you see that? Cartwheels are my favorite. I do them all the time. <laughs> but this is the first time I've done one on a block before. There you go. Here we go. Whoa, that was awesome. <laughs> nice cartwheel. Thank you. All right, you've done some stuff on the floor. Mm -hmm. In gymnastics, we also do stuff on bars. So let's go check out the bars. Oh, come on. I'm just gonna climb up here. Wow. I'm gonna get super tall like a giraffe. I'm gonna swing. This is called casting. Casting. And once I'm ready, I'm gonna tuck my chin, turn my hands like a motorcycle, and roll. <gasps> Just Whoa, like that. Did you see that? She did a flip around the bar. Oh, okay. I want to try I think now. You're ready. Okay. Okay. So I climb up on the bars like this, and then I hold myself up, and whoo, I'm casting. Whoop. You're doing good. <laughs> okay, now what? You're gonna tuck your chin, 
You're gonna turn your hand okay. like a motorcycle and okay. roll. Whoa! <laughs> nice, you went upside down! I did. I did the flip around the bar too! <laughs> so we've done bars, we did some gymnastics on the floor. How about jumping on a trampoline? <gasps> yes, I love jumping on a trampoline! All right, let's do it! All right, come on! Whoa! <gasps> wow, this is a really long trampoline! Yeah, we're gonna jump on it! Okay! <laughs> All right, we're gonna jump over something! Ooh, over what? We call them fries! Fries, I love eating fries! <laughs> All right! We got yellow! Oh! Blue! Oh. And orange! They do look like fries! Look! It's like a giant fry! Ooh. Yum. <laughs> okay. All right, let's reach up like you're getting the bananas. Okay. And jump over the fries. And I want you to make sure you stop at the end so you can control your body. Okay. All Ready? Right, go for it. Here we go. One, two, three. Good stop. <laughs> Thank you. All right, you'll just come back on the red. Hey. Okay. All right, that was a great jump. I'm gonna move these fries out of the way now. All right. Ooh, I wonder what's next. <laughs> All right, we're gonna be like an alligator, a chomping alligator. Oh, an alligator like this? Chomp, chomp, chomp. We gotta go big. Say straddle. Okay, straddle. Ooh. Nice. And the more you practice, you can get bigger and bigger at those straddles. Oh, gotcha. You're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna jump all the way down and make sure you stop okay. and come back on the red. So my arms will chomp this way for an alligator chomp? Yeah, reach up high and then our legs will be open shut. Whoa. Okay, here I go. Ready? Jump, jump, jump. So we did some cartwheels, some handstands, some jumping. So I think you're ready to do the obstacle course. Really? Yeah, I added a few more things for you to try, but it'll oh, be a lot of fun. Oh, cool. Well, thank you so much for teaching me gymnastics today. Oh, you're welcome. Well, I'll see you nice next time. Nice meeting you. <laughs> Bye. Bye, nice meeting you. Yes, I can't believe she said I'm ready to do the obstacle course all by myself. Ooh, and I wonder what surprises she put in there for me. All right. First things first, balance. Whoa. <gasps> hey, I remember that block. We used that block when we practiced our cartwheels. Okay, ready? <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> Ooh, and I can do a somersault down this triangle. I know how to do those. <laughs> Back at the half circle, climb over. <gasps> and the green circle, I could do it. Kangaroo hop. <laughs> okay, climb up and <gasps> the bar. Remember how we learned how to go on the bar? Hold ourselves up and casting, casting. <gasps> then I can go under and bear walk. <laughs> okay, and more balance. I got this, I got this, I got this. Ta-da! <laughs> well, I did the whole thing all by myself. Ooh, there's the tiger mat. Let's run away. I am ready to go. Wow, I had so much fun learning gymnastics today at Spokane Gymnastics in Spokane Valley, Washington. We learned so many things today, like how to warm up our bodies and get flexible and strong. Ooh, it's really important that you have really good balance when you're a gymnast. Wow, we even did the bars. I've never been on bars before. Oh, and the trampoline. And then in the end, I got to do the obstacle course. Oh yeah, and I finished it all by myself. Ha, ta-da! <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. Good job. All right, I'll see you next time. Thanks for learning with me. Bye. Whoa. <laughs> Hi, 
Hey, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at Bubble Pop in Orange County, California. Have you ever played with bubbles before? <laughs> They're so much fun. Maybe you've used a wand and blew bubbles into the air, or maybe you've taken a bubble bath. <laughs> it's so fun. Well, at Bubble Pop, we get to play with bubbles all day long. Will you play with me? Oh, let's go. Whoa, check it out. Bubbles and, hey, do you know what this is? <laughs> a bubble wand. Whoa, and this one has a lot of circles on it. I wonder if that means it will make a ton of bubbles. Let's find out. Okay, get some solution on there. <sighs> huh. I'll just try again. <laughs> Two out. Do you hear that? There's air blowing out from these two places here. That must mean if I take the bubble solution, put it on the wand, and then put it on the fan. <laughs> That's so cool. Let's do it again. Whoa, <laughs> look how many bubbles. Hey. Here's another bubble wand. It looks just like this one, but there's something different. That's right. There's a yellow circle right here in the middle. Hello. All right, let's try this one. <gasps> Whoa, even more bubbles. Wonder if I could do two at the same time. <laughs> okay. Three, two, one. Whoa! So many bubbles! Whoa, I'm gonna do it again. Three, two, one. Whoa! Wait a second. I have an idea. Check this out. See, there's a bunch of squares in here. Kind of looks like a big waffle. What would happen if I put some bubble solution on this and put it on the fan. Ready? Three, two, one. Wow! It kind of looks like the bubbles you would see when you're getting a bubble bath. I'm gonna do it again. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. <gasps> Whoa! I wonder what else we can do here. Come on. Whoa, look, even more bubbles. Whoa, but check out this bubble wand. It's a big yellow circle. One of my favorite colors. <laughs> See if I can make a bubble. Whoa. <laughs> oh, I caught it. <laughs> do it again. Whoa, that was a big bubble. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I'm Teresa from Bubble Pop. Hi, Teresa. I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. Hi, Mika. I'm so glad that you're playing with our bubbles. Yeah. Can I show you some bubble tricks? Oh, yes, please. All Let's right. see. So I saw you making a bubble. Uh-huh. All right. So we're going to make the bubble kind of like you just did and then catch it just like Ooh. you did. Whoa. Whoa, you have three <laughs> or more bubbles on your wand. Check it out. <gasps> Our bubbles came together what? and made a huge one. Whoa! <laughs> wow, bubbles oh, are right. awesome. What is a bubble? Well, I'm glad you asked, Mika, because you can see right here. See this film mm -hmm. on the wand? Yeah, it's like shiny. Yeah, it's our bubble solution. So usually bubble solutions are made of soap and water mm -hmm. and usually something else that's a polymer that will bind everything together. Water molecules love each other so much. They like to just hold hands and be really tight. And so they squeeze the soap molecule together. And that's why there's a thin film here that makes your bubble. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. And when they do that, it's called cohesion. Cohesion. Yep, and that's what makes the bubble hold together just like this. Wow. <laughs> All right, you ready to do a bubble trick? Yeah. Okay, 
So because bubbles love each other so much, the water molecules inside a bubble, we can actually create a bubble inside this bubble. How? Do you wanna try it with me? Yeah. So I want you to blow very short bursts inside the bubble. <gasps> Whoa, do you see that? There's little bubbles in the really big bubble. Whoa. Whoa, <laughs> could I do that even in this little bubble? I think you can. Oh, I see a baby one. Yeah. <laughs> There's a tiny one right there. So instead of blowing bubbles inside a bubble, something else that cohesion allows us to do is put a bubble on any surface that we want to. Oh, okay. Like, how about your hand? You wanna try to catch one <gasps> yes, in your hand? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so I will make a bubble for okay. you, and then you try to catch it with your hand. All righty. I'm gonna catch that bubble. Ooh, oh, that it was popped. So close. <laughs> it did pop. <laughs> so the most important thing about cohesion is that you need water molecules together, right? Is your, oh. Let me see your hand. It's oh, just it a was, little wet. It was kind of dry. Yeah. Let's try it with a bunch of water molecules on it and then they can link together. Woo, okay. Get all the solution on my hands. Yes. I'm ready to catch this bubble. Okay, I am going to throw one at you. Oh, you did it, you caught it. I caught a bubble. Wow, that's Hello. so cool. Let me see if I can even pop it, but I wet my hand. So I think the water is gonna like each other <gasps> and I can put my hand inside what? your bubble. Teresa, you're a bubble magician. <laughs> was that cool? That was amazing. Do you wanna see other cool bubble tricks? Yes, I do. Okay, come on, let's go. Right, come with us. Mika, wow. let me show you this <laughs> phantom bubble station. Phantom bubble station? Yes, do you remember before how we made a bubble with just air in it? Mm -hmm. All right, well this one, we're gonna make a bubble, but it's gonna be filled with something besides air. Oh, what is it gonna be filled with? Do you know what dry ice is, Mika? Yeah. So dry ice is made of carbon dioxide, which is already in our air. We just breathe it normally. But what they do is they make it really, really tight so that it get things really, really cold. Oh, and way colder than the ice you would find in your refrigerator. Yeah, that's right. It's negative 100 oh. degrees Fahrenheit. That's super cold. In fact, it's so cold, it's not really safe to touch. Mm -mm. So we never want to touch it. So what we do is we keep it nice and safe inside here. Mm -hmm. But what comes out is the sublimated form of carbon dioxide, oh. which is this smoke that we see. Yeah. Isn't that neat? So we can put it here in our bubble solution. We turn it and it can trap the, the fog inside the bubble. Wow, and look. now you have a smoke-filled bubble. That's really neat. Yeah. It was kind of like a crystal ball. Yeah, and you know what's really cool? Remember last time how we put a bubble in your hand? Yep. Would you like a smoke-filled bubble in your hand? Yes, I would, thank you. All right, let's do it. <laughs> All right, so do you remember the trick to how we always hold a bubble without popping it? Right, you don't want your hands to be dry. Mm -hmm. My hands are really dry right now, so I'm gonna put some bubble solution on them so they get nice and wet. Perfect. Okay. All right, and I will help you put the bubble inside your hand. Okay. All right, here we go. Get it on here, hold on. Why don't <gasps> we, there we go. Look at that. Whoa. Whoa, now you have a smokeful bubble in your hand. That's so cool. You can't even see through it. That's how much smoke is in mm -hmm. there. Can you make it dance? <laughs> oh, come on, bubble. Yes! Oh, this bubble has moves. <laughs> Did you know that carbon dioxide is actually heavier than regular air? Oh. Yeah, so when we fill the bubble, mm -hmm. we use only carbon dioxide. So all you see is the smoke that's inside. Yeah, you can't see through it or anything. Nope, but if we make a bubble and we have both air and carbon dioxide, oh. we'll be able to see which one's heavier. How does it get in there? So we're gonna use this and we're gonna stick it right inside here. Thank you for your help, Mika. Yeah. All right, Whoa. do you see that? Do you see how at the bottom, 
there's the fog, carbon dioxide smoke, and mm -hmm. then at the top, you can see that it's just regular air. Right. So even though it's both air and gas, one is definitely heavier than the other. Yeah, and it's going to the bottom. Yeah, and then look, now you have a smoke-filled bubble. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> These are the biggest bubbles I've ever seen. Ooh, Ooh. bubble hug. <laughs> yeah, that was cool. Do you want to see something, Mika? Yeah. All right, I'm going to make. <gasps> a bubble arch. It's like a rainbow. All right, I'm going to make one more just for you, all oh, right? Thanks. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> Whoa! All right, do you want to try? Yeah, thanks. Oh. oh, look how big this bubble wand is. It's bigger than my head. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, get some solution on there, and... Whoa! Wow, it was so pretty! That was awesome. Great job! Thank you! And thanks for teaching me about bubbles and showing me all these cool bubble tricks. Yeah, no problem! I hope you're having a great time. Oh, yeah. Have fun! All right, I'll see you later. Okay, bye. Whoa! She knows a lot about bubbles. All right, I'm gonna do another arch. Ready? Three, two, one. Arch! Oh! <laughs> I can do with this big bubble wand. Whoa, look! It looks like a magnifying glass. Hello! <laughs> Whoa! Did you see that one? Oh, that one popped really fast. Whoa, that one popped fast too. I wonder if I can make one that will stay and float a little bit. <gasps> Whoa! Bubbles inside of a big bubble? Oh, that was amazing! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I could fit inside of that bubble! That's how big it was! Whoa, <laughs> it's raining bubbles on me. <laughs>
Oh, there's water. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Stanley, do you know those dinosaurs over there? Ah, oh, hi, I'm Mika. <laughs> Whoa. Stanley, you're so nice to show me around. I love dinosaurs. <gasps> we should all act like dinosaurs. Can you help us? Okay, awesome. What's something a dinosaur does? Oh yeah, stomp, 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 stomp like a dinosaur. Ooh, what's something else dinosaurs do? Oh yeah, they have really big and mighty roars. Let's roar together, ready? Whoa, Stanley, I don't know if I could roar as loud as you. What's something else that dinosaurs do? What? Dinosaurs dance? I didn't know that. Let's all dance together. Yeah, you got the move, Stanley. Okay, all right. <laughs> Aw, it was so nice meeting you, Stanley. Thanks for showing us how to be dinosaurs and taking us to this really cool space. I'll see you next time, buddy. Bye. Whoa, did you see how big his tail is? Stanley's so cool. I wonder what else is in here. Whoa, this place is really cool. I've never been in a space like this before. There's a huge pool. Whoa, look at this. It's a raft. Do you know what shape this is? It's a circle. And do you know what color it is? That's right, it's the color red. Good color. Alrighty, oh. <gasps> Let's get a closer look at Stanley's friends. Come on. Okay, let's sneak up on Stanley's friends. Hello. <laughs> oh, hi, nice to meet you. My name is Mika. Look. Can you see their teeth? They have way more teeth than we do. And they're so, so sharp. They're carnivores. That means they like to eat meat. Whoa. These are velociraptors and they run really, really fast on their legs. Whoa, look how big and sharp that talon is. Whoa, can you imagine if you had those on your toes? It would be really hard to wear sneakers if your toenails were like that. <laughs> Let's keep exploring. Whoa! Look at this! It's like a water playground. They call it the Children's Lagoon here. Oh! Look at that yellow slide! That would be so fun because you can land in the water and get all wet. <laughs> wow! Whoa! See how the floor is painted different colors? I see yellow, there's blue, oh, and all the way back there is red. It makes the water look like it's different colors. <laughs> Whoa, looks like you can walk up a net, go up the yellow stairs, and there's more water slides. This place is so cool. <laughs> Whoa. There's another fountain. Wow. There's water all over this. I think you would need a swimsuit to play on that playground. <laughs> Whoa, look over here. Dinosaur footprints. Whoa, do you think Stanley made those or another dinosaur? Hmm. Here's another one. Whoa, look how much bigger it is than my foot. Whoa, wow. Oh, come here. Wow, this is an actual mold of a real dinosaur fossil. Do you know what kind of dinosaur it is? It's a velociraptor. <laughs> We've seen a lot of those today. Whoa. Look at its mouth. You can see its sharp teeth in there. 
Velociraptors lived 150 million years ago. <laughs> Whoa, is it snack? These are the ribs. We have ribs on our sides. <laughs> wow. Whoa, look at the tail. Even the tail has bones in it. Wow. <laughs> Velociraptors are really cool and really ferocious and strong and super fast. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> More dinosaur footprints. Let's see where they take us. Oh, look at this. A crate of objects. Hmm. And we're by a giant pool. <gasps> that only means one thing. We should play sink or float. <laughs> Will you play sink or float with me? Awesome, let's do it. All right. Let's see what we have in the crate. We have a blue bouncy ball. Ooh. <laughs> will it sink or will it float? We won't know until we float. It's floating. <laughs> and we have a, ooh, a spatula. Maybe you've seen these in your kitchen. You can make pancakes. Ooh. Do you think it will sink or float? Let's see. Whoa! It went to the bottom, but the handle is sticking up. It sunk. All right. Will it sink or will it float? Wow, this is a really cool cup. I love these colors. Oh, I love it. But will it sink or float? Okay, what else do we have in here? Ooh, here's a fun truck. Vroom, 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 vroom. Ooh, nice and yellow. One of my favorite colors. Huh, I wonder if this will sink or float. Only one way to find out. Huh. It floats. <laughs> Whoa, look at these. Hello. Whoa, I can see you way here now. <laughs> Let's see, will these silly glasses sink or float? It looks like they're sinking, wow. I totally thought they were going to float. <laughs> All right, what else is in here? Oh yeah, another Velociraptor. <laughs> will you sink or will you float? We won't know until we throw! That dinosaur is definitely floating. All right. Hmm. Whoa! Hey! This is a ruler. You can use it to measure things. I wonder if it will sink or float. Oh. It's sinking. <laughs> Wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. Should we see if the rest will sink or float in one big dump? <laughs> Let's do it. One, two, three, Whoa! Wow, I see some diving sticks that sunk to the bottom and everything else is floating away, goodbye! Ha. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> awesome. <gasps> Let's spell it in the pool. Okay, ready? M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> well, thank you so much for having a good time with me today in this super cool place filled with Velociraptors. I'll we'll see you next time. Bye! <laughs> Come on, everyone. Let's make learning fun. Come on, everyone. Let's make learning fun. So much to learn about.